Hey, what's up? Me looking rough in the morning. Don't worry, I'll be looking like a meal tomorrow when I go to this event. But um, we're going to be talking about the whole situation with the baby and him punching his artist, uh, Wisdom, I believe. And also, with that even happening, they're throwing out, they're, they're resurfacing old footage from 2018 when he... Um, shot someone in Walmart and it was, you know, ruled out as self-defense. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video. Don't forget to follow my socials at India underscore underscore Michelle on Snapchat and Instagram. And everything will be also, under, you know, under the description box. So, you know, as, you know, regular person on social media, you scrolling and you see, you know, different outlets, you know, posting certain stories on celebrities and stuff like that. And what celebrity, of course, is in headlines again about some BS. And in the past few years, the baby has been like in news in a negative way from back with, with the shooting at Walmart. The the other North Carolina guy, I want to say he's uh, now deceased now. When he got into a fight, was it like Louis Vuitton in the mall or somewhere like that in Charlotte? Then the whole thing with Danny Lay and, you know, them going back and forth with, his, with her and his baby mom, Mimi. Then the whole situation with her getting pregnant and you a side chick and this and that and the third. Then the whole situation with the brother and the bowling alley. Now this you pretty much sucker punching your artist. Well, should I say sucker punch or just pretty much? I, I, the reason I said sucker punch is because that's your artist. It's not like a regular dude that you didn't got into it with backstage and, you know, stuff happened. But that's your artist. That's not something you do. People going to be looking at you like, well, damn, can I even do business with this guy? Do I even want to get signed under the baby? Because he going to fuck around and mess up my career because he mad today and now he just want to start swinging. But as you've seen in that clip... When he did that wide ass fucking air punch, Wisdom was giving him that work. And all of a sudden it was, you bitch ass nigga, yeah, y'all won't fight no more. Wisdom, from what I don't know who the guy is for real, for real, but for what I seen, he ain't no small dude and he damn sure ain't no bitch just because you're the baby. So with that situation coming out, you don't really have, you know, a lot of people don't really know like the context, the context of why they were even having a physical altercation in the first place. You know, all we've seen is pretty much during and the aftermath of the whole thing, but we don't know why. And that may come out wisdom, nor the baby has spoke on it. But now that that has simmered down just a little bit, and yeah, I really do need to do something to my hair. I'm like really looking crunchy. But... <laughs> Oh, well, y'all know me. I don't be giving a damn. Y'all know how I be coming. <laughs> but anyway, um, now that that has simmered down a bit, we're now seeing old footage of the baby with the, situ in the, with the situation of him having self-defense, defending himself against the guy in Walmart, right? And I'm not, again, I'm not a, a big The Baby fan, but I like The Baby. You know, he's, you know, raised in North Carolina. So it was like, okay, him and Moray and really um J. Cole putting um North Carolina on the map. It's like you kinda rock with him like that. And also he does have pretty good music. But when you at back then a few years ago when the whole situation of the whole Walmart situation, it was like, damn, that nigga don't play. Like he really bought that life. He's not like no bitch ass dude that yeah you rap about it. But then when you see, you know, clips of him and certain um, altercations is looking like, you know, you, you got your security guard. Now, he's fighting with the security guard. You know what I'm saying? So, he's really about their life. Now, when you look at the footage of him and the guy that he shot in Walmart, it don't look like no goddamn self-defense. Now, I might have to rewatch it again. But y'all coming at the bottom, y'all coming at the bottom of what y'all think. What I've seen, and again, I might have to watch it again. But what I've seen, and we don't hear no audio, we just going off little clips here and there. It looks like 
for whatever reason, and, and it could have been self-defense, but the way it looked like you was just a a crazed, deranged guy with a gun, and you just so happened to like bust at the dude in Walmart. And it doesn't look like self-defense. It is like, yeah, y'all might have had an altercation, but it didn't look like it was warranted of you putting the fire on this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, was it self-defense or was it just on some shit where you just had the money and you're the baby and let's just put it as self-defense? Now, I'm not trying to incriminalize the guy like, yeah, we should cancel the baby. But again, oh yeah, I even forgot about the whole LGBT and you talking about some raise your hand if you don't got A's and sucking in the car and all that. So it's like all of that is really, he's really pretty much pretty much putting it on himself when he's looked at looked at as in a negative light. Now you already know black feminist groups and just women in general are going to look at the baby like, see, see, I told you, I told you that uh that he was a murderer. He already uh hit a woman and I'm not saying I'm defending BS just because I like the baby or I like any male artist that quote unquote treat mistreats women. Like I'm, you know, side eye and Trey songs too, you know. He be having some questionable, you know, stuff uh, on him that's, you know, quote unquote allegedly, but then when you having videos of you pulling them on a woman's breast, it's like, damn, how many times can you you know, defend the dude without kind of being like, all right, now let's, let's stop defending the dude and let's hold this nigga to the uh, legs, to the fire, feet to the fire. But back to the baby, it's just like, okay, when is this going to stop? Like, when are you going to actually start being who you are, which is a rapper? You're not in the streets no more. You know what I'm saying? So now is going to be on some let's cancel the baby again after he already got out of hot water water with the whole lgbtq community and stuff like that so again y'all coming at the bottom i like I, again i hate to see when black people especially black men put themselves in a situation or are caught up in a situation like tory lane's and the whole Megan Thee Stallion shit, I, I really, I know for a fact he wish he never slept with her. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be sneaky behind Kelsey's back. Now the bitch that you knew was sneaky with is throwing you under the fire. But back to the baby. Um, yeah, I hate it for him. But at the end of the day, if if it's ruled out that it shit really wants self-defense, uh, what can you really say at that point? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to defend this bullshit just because you're black. Okay, but again, y'all comment at the bottom. Y'all already know what to do. Hit those likes, hit those shares, hit that subscribe. And until next time with another video, bye-bye.